Hi, in this short video I'll show you how to remove unwanted characters. Let's say for example you're copying some content from a Word file or maybe an HTML page and you copied it into your Excel worksheet. When there's some characters maybe you don't want and these are just some example characters I show to kind of illustrate some examples. So let's say for example we didn't want this trademark. Well this is kind of easy. What we need to do is we can go ahead and click on here or we click our range of cells maybe that we find this TM that we don't want. And we just go ahead and bring up the find and replace. That can be over here where it says find and replace here. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut and that is using the control H. And that's going to bring up this find and replace. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and find this item. But you see that when we try to type TM in there and replace it with maybe nothing, it's not going to find it. It's going to say it doesn't find anything. And that's because it's a special character. And what we need to do is we need to copy that special character. So we can just copy one instance of it. Control C to copy, select it, and Control C to copy, and then select our range of cells wherever it is, and then go ahead and press Control H for the find and replace. We'll go ahead and paste it in here, and you can see that it's pasted that character in there, and then replace it with nothing. So we're going to click replace, and now it's gone. So just to give you an example of the special character nature, each character in a file has a uh, ASCII uh, number. Uh, I can go under the insert and go under the symbol and try to find that trademark. And see with this trademark here, if we looked at that, that character code is 153 under ASCII, and that's what makes it different from any of the other characters. So if you want to think about the letter T, the letter T is going to be uh, here, and it's a character code of 84, and the letter M is a character code of 77. So just kind of want to think about that when you try to replace uh, different characters within your file. Let me go ahead and cancel this. So that was just a little tidbit on that. Here in the second example, we have this word PowerPoint. But there is a space before this P, there's a space right after it. If I click over here, you see there's a little space here, and there's a space in between. Now, we can get rid of those spaces in the beginning and end by using the trim function. So if I type trim this and add this particular cell reference, press enter, you'll notice that now it, the form is in there, but it's gotten rid of there. So what I can do is, if I just wanted that, I can just type control C and then go ahead and paste just the value in there. The function disappears, and then press escape to get rid of the marquee. You'll notice now, if I click in here, that space is gone, and up here, that space is gone. However, that space is still there. So what we want to do with that particular space, what we can do, so if there's a bunch of words like this, what we can do is you, just, you can just copy it, Control c to copy, bring up the find and replace, Control h and what we have, we can just select that, and we can select Control v to paste and just remove that one. So anytime there is a space in there, what we can do is just replace and it will got, get rid of it. Now if it's not the exact same word here, if, if we've got several words that are two words together and uh, it's not the exact same word PowerPoint, maybe some of them say power, paint, or whatever, and you don't want to go ahead and have a couple instances where you'd have to copy and paste the same word and replace, and you just want to get rid of that space, you can actually do it another way. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo this. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and select uh, that space there. I can go ahead and just select that space and then control C, and then maybe I selected a range where this these words would all have the same kind of issue where there's a space in between. What I can do is now I can just press control H and I can go ahead and control V. I copied that space there and I can just go ahead and delete delete and backspace and there is no space there anymore. If I click replace, you'll notice now that space is gone and any cell selection that I've done, that space will disappear too. It will be replaced. And this is basically a space here. If I go into this uh, cell B6 here, if I click in the formula bar, there's a space in between here. Uh, very similar to what I did here. If you don't want to have spaces in your cells, what you can do is you can just copy that. Control C to copy, uh, bring up Control H, and then go ahead and Control V to paste in there. There's a space in there. And if I want to have a something else instead of a space, maybe a dash, I can go ahead and type a dash. I'll go ahead and uh, click on replace. And you notice now, now that it's put a dash in there. Let me go ahead and click close. Now, maybe we have situations where uh, we've copied over some uh, sentences, and then there's a space before the period and the end. And what we want to do is we don't want to delete the spaces between the other words, but we want to delete the spaces 
between uh, the period. We want to delete those spaces between the word and that period. And then, since this is pretty easy, what we can do is we can type Control H to do a find and replace. And what this basically is is let me go and delete that. We have a space and then a period. And then what we need to do is just type a period without any space. If I click replace it will have removed that space between the periods. So if we have a couple sentences in, a, in our bunch of cells here that are like that, that will get rid of it. Let me go ahead and click close here. Now this last example is a very kind of a specialized case and this happens maybe when you're copying uh, files over from a web page or something from a web page and we have these uh, spaces and they're not like the regular spaces that I showed you earlier. So let me go ahead and sh give you an example of a regular space that you might find in a document. So the regular space you might find in the document it's going to be this particular char character code 32 in ASCII but this particular space that you most commonly find in web pages is called a non-breaking space and that one has a character code of 0160 now that is this space here and it's a no break space so there may be a situation where you need to go ahead and delete spaces but when you're trying to delete it with the regular space that uh, 32 character code it doesn't work and you're kind of like be beside yourself trying to get rid of those spaces and you might want to think about maybe it's a non break space so how do we get rid of those well what we can do is so let me show you an example uh, of why the uh, regular space didn't work here so if I go into this cell and I just type a space and then I select it, Control C to copy, and I go into cell, and I want to re replace that space. Control H for the find and replace. Let's go ahead and delete that, and press Control V. That would be the regular space, that 32 ASCII code. And let's say I want, I don't want that. I want to have, I want to delete that. If I press delete for that period and get rid of it, I just want no spaces in there. If I click replace, you'll notice nothing didn't match. Nothing didn't, it didn't find it because that's not. A regular space. However, let me go ahead and close this and close this. If I find that that's a non-breaking space, I'll just go ahead and copy that little space in there. Control C to copy, and then I'll go ahead and select the rest of these cells here. Control H to bring out the find and replace. And if I delete whatever's here and press Control V, now that is that non-breaking space, that ASCII character code 0160. And then I want to replace it with nothing. If I go ahead and click uh, replace, let me go and replace all, replace these three. Go ahead and click replace all. You'll see now that it's replaced it. And, and we know that it worked because that non-breaking space, what it's done is it's been removed. And the way that Excel sees numbers is it right justifies them. So there are no spaces, there's no non-breaking spaces there now to make it confusing. So that has removed it. So these are a couple examples of how we can uh, remove unwanted characters. Your, your find and replace utility is a very smart tool to do that. And knowing um, what kind of particular characters, if it's a symbol, will probably help you if you wanted to kind of know what you wanted to remove and what you wanted to replace. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.